WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And of course, oh, well, we got moving stuff around here. Um, yeah, you're up a little bit, but does it really matter? Uh, in the scheme of things, it looks like maybe we'll be up a little bit today and down a little bit tomorrow. Uh, we've got a few things going on. And of course, uh, those are tomorrow an election. Wednesday, we have Delta Neutral. Uh, for uh, monthly options expiration. And then probably uh, the trick bag on Friday where we have the bond market closed but the equity market open. We saw a lot of hijinks and hilarity ensued last month when that happened. It happens twice a year. Uh, and uh, what is it? October and, and uh, November uh, for Veterans Day for uh, in November. So we've got a couple of days here. Um, expect uh, I'm expecting rather low volatility uh, again tomorrow. Now, uh, maybe a lot of people are shorting into this. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't think I'd want to get into it uh, too deep. Uh, but that's kind of it. So you've got uh, a lot of mixed currents going on. Uh, but I expect uh, kind of light and variable as we're getting today to probably continue into mar tomorrow. I've had lots of questions about whether or not we should uh, expect the same kind of high, low, low, high kind of stuff uh, on the election of 2016. I don't think so. Um, this uh, election is probably about 10 times more polled than that one. So most of the people on Wall Street, I think, already have a fairly good idea and what's going to change and what's not. Uh, Wall Street does like uh, gridlock, and it looks like at a minimum we'll have a little um, and uh, maybe at the maximum have a lot. But that really doesn't change what's going on or what comes on. Uh, the market likes uh, nothing happening because at least they know what to bet on for a couple of years. So that may be the uh, silver lining to uh, some other things that are a little cloudy. Uh, hang on for the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial